Hello guys, welcome back. So today I will discuss about the lamp brush chromosome. So without any delay, let's start the video. So what are the learning outcomes of this lecture? So in this lecture, I will discuss that what is a lamp brush chromosome, then the history of this lamp brush chromosome, then the structure, features, functions and finally the applications or the importance of the lamp brush chromosomes will be discussed in this lecture. So first, what is a lamp brush chromosome? So lamp brush chromosomes, these are some giant or you can say these are big chromosomes which are found in the oocytes of some animals, but except mammals. And why these are called as lamp brush? Because as you can see in the structure here, so this is the lamp brush chromosome and you can see that it has some brush like appearance under the microscope so you can compare this lamp brush chromosome with this a cleaning brush so now you can see that this lamp brush chromosome has appearance like the clinic brush that's why it is named as the lamp brush chromosome and these lamp brush chromosomes are also called as diplotene chromosomes why because they are formed during the diplotene stage of prophase 1 during the meiotic cell division. So that's why they are also named as diplotene chromosomes. Next, the history of lamp brush chromosomes. So they were first reported by the Walder Fleming in 1882 in the oocyte of amphibian that is salamander. So now the structure of lamp brush chromosome. So here this is a lamp brush chromosome and it has two homologous chromosome and if you see a part of single chromosome under high magnification power so you will see structure here like this is so in this structure we have two chromatids so you can say here the one chromosome has two chromatids and there is a main axis and there is another structure that is chromomere which are held together by the axillary fibers and we have loops also so here you can see this chromatid they are just folded into loops and these loops they are enriched with an RNA polymerase proteins and transcription factors and these lamp brush chromosome they are mixture of the DNA RNA and proteins so here this is the structure of lamp brush chromosome so next the feature of lamp brush chromosomes so first they are meiotic bivalent and each bivalent consists of two homologous chromosomes as I shown under the structure then they contain certain loops and these loops looks like the cleaning brush so that's why they are named as lamp brush chromosomes now they form during the diplotene stage so that's why they are also called as diplotene chromosomes and next feature is that the loops of lamp brush chromosome they are active site of the transcription Next, the functions of lamp brush chromosome include, so first, they are essential for the development of oocyte, then they also help in the synthesis of messenger RNA and the proteins which is required for the embryonic development, then they also helps in the RNA processing and transport, means they just helps in the, you can say the formation of some RNA complexes which helps in the RNA processing and transport then they also help in the formation of yolk material in the egg and they also involve in the production of masked RNA. So this masked RNA, these are transcorrelationally repressed during the oogenesis and they are stored within the ribonucleoprotein storage particle for subsequent use during the embryogenesis. Next is the importance of lamp brush chromosomes. So these are very much important for studying the gene expression and the regulation in the oocytes and they provide us the insight into the mechanism of RNA transcription processing and transport because their loops are the active site of RNA transcription. So we can use these chromosomes to study the mechanism of RNA transcription and processing. Next, by these lamp brush chromosome, we can also understand their role in the disease and which will ultimately lead to the new diagnostic and therapeutic strategies. And finally, the lamp brush chromosome research, they may lead to development of new approaches for preserving the fertility and treatment of the infertility. 
so this is all about the lamp brush chromosome guys so see you in the next video till then take care